the root of my name, which in Tumbuka, it means to be so bright and beautiful that you shine, that you dazzle. And that's how I want people who wear our clothes to feel. I, that's how I want them to be seen and feel like, oh my gosh, I want some of that dazzle. I want to wear that. The idea came from frustration in terms of not finding the kind of clothes that I felt described me or expressed who I was and, you know, I was comfortable in. So I wanted something that was African but, uh, well, modern and that's how Kotoa was born. I had some business skills in terms of managing businesses and people but in terms of the specific knowledge and the design business I didn't. So. I've done a lot of learning and I'm still learning. Whatever we make, we, we plow it back in. So it's very much been organically grown. Having gone through the Nyamuka process, one great thing that I appreciate is like after the competition, they're still there for support and we still have access to the business advisors, to a group of people to say, look, I'm struggling with this. So that's, that's really good. That's something that that we didn't have before as a business. Nyamoka helped me join the dots in terms of the concrete steps that I need to take to get where I, I want to go. To expand the business in terms of the production capacity and create the online platform to take the business beyond the domestic market into the regional and international levels. And not being scared of thinking a little bit bigger. And I think it's something that we would have done with or without Nyamuka, but with Nyamuka we're able to do it in a much better way, in a professional way, and we're able to do it much quicker. I mean, why can't we have a Zambian brand that goes beyond? It's known everywhere, loved everywhere, appreciated everywhere. It's worth a shot, nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Ladies, put your